Meanwhile, in Charlottesville, another very old rivalry. The Hokies have won seven out of the last eight with Virginia by an average margin of 20 points. This is a confident Cavalier team. Jamil Sewell, the quarterback, he's not spectacular. No, but he is clutch. In four game-winning drives, he's 17 of 20. Could be very tough sledding against a Hokie defense that's number one in the country in forcing three and outs. They need to get some turnovers to win. Virginia does. That could be possible, though, because Taylor and Glennon may alternate the quarterback Spurrier style. Every couple of plays, that's going to be interesting for Frank Beamer. And the Hokies have allowed 39 sacks. So Chris Long, who's not practiced, he's got a strep throat, which sometimes with him leads to pneumonia. They've held him out. He's going to go against Dwayne Brown, a very good tackle. That's a very good matchup there. The Hokies are very, very hungry for a rematch with Boston College and Jacksonville. It's a powerful motivation for them. It, it is great motivation, but they've got to get through Charlottesville first. And I've been really impressed with the way Brian Steinspring, the offensive coordinator from Virginia Tech, has rotated his quarterback, Sean Glennon, and Tyrod Taylor. It's worked very well against Florida State and uh, against Miami. It's a different story. Rivalry game against a Virginia defense that is playing well. I know Chris Long's battling strep throat. This guy is a gamer. He'll be out there. There's the quickness that he's demonstrated throughout his his career here's the power a double team against Maryland two guys a tackle and a guard watch this right through a Mel Kuyper's gonna wow. eat that one up in April <laughs> he'll love that one so that gives you an idea of what kind of ability the guy has 91 will be all over the field now I think the key is can Virginia Tech get into the red zone and then score touchdowns I feel Virginia can hold them out of the end zone and force the field goal and I think Jamil Sewell and Michael Simpson will do just enough for Virginia at home to wow. win an opportunity to get to the ACC championship game. What do you got for me, my friend? Can you do two not so fast in the same show? I think that's great. Not so fast for the second time. Virginia Tech wins games by the old-fashioned way. Stuff the run, play good defense, and then get after the quarterback. This is exactly where they start with the sacks of the quarterback. But watch these guys. They got speed. Oh. Like your quarterback sees these guys coming up. And then, this is what my favorite. Watch the pursuit and watch the stuffing. Bing, bang, boom. Virginia Tech. <laughs> All right. Sixth in the nation on rushing defense. Now, Virginia is 5-0 and at home. They play really good defense. Only allowed 16 points the last two wins. But that's Virginia Tech's game. Virginia are playing right into their hands. Virginia Tech wins a close one by a field goal with defense in a kicking game. Bing, bang, boom, boom. Kick boom. field goal. Yeah, beam. Beamer ball. I'm telling you. That's beamer ball. So Welcome to Charlottesville for the 89th meeting between Virginia and Virginia Tech. The Commonwealth Cup and a spot in the ACC title game at stake. Winner of this game gets statewide bragging rights and will play Boston College in Jacksonville next weekend for the conference championship. I've done here on third down. Little option. And Sewell with the late pitch to Pierman. Virginia Tech not fooled. So much speed for the Hokies as DJ Parker tracks him down a few yards shy of the first down marker. Well. CC. Wyganda booted away. Hokies almost got to it. And here's Royal. And he's going to pitch. Justin Harper on the reverse. He's got blockers in front. Harper down the sideline. Cut it back. And then was tripped up by the punter Wigand at the 43. Was a 43-yard return and a first down at the 41. And now Glennon with play action looking deep. And Royal does an out. And it's caught at the 26 for a 16-yard gain to nothing. Worst home loss for the Hurricanes in 63 years in their final game at the Orange Bowl. Tyrod Taylor with the pass, and it's caught for a first down inside the 10 to Eddie Royal. Pass or two, only two picks this year. Glennon's also thrown just two interceptions. Here's Tyrod with the legs, and Taylor inside the five. And it's a Virginia Tech touchdown! with his second rushing touchdown and it's a freshman from Hampton Virginia getting into the end zone for the Hokies more teams are going to do it because of their success last year here's Sewell on the option nowhere to go just too much speed on the outside at the linebacker position for Virginia Tech Cam Martin is there for the Hokies and this offensive front for Virginia Tech has been together. Tyrod Taylor in the game at quarterback in trouble, and he gets out of there and dumps it off to Josh Morgan. 
And he's going to be close to the first down and has it inside the 38-yard line. Push down. Drive lead over Sean, Sean uh, Glennon. Here's Taylor in trouble and again gets away from pressure. And Tyrod Taylor tucking. And it's another hokey first down to the 25. Right here, you just see him drop back, looking down the field. Nice eyes. He gets a nice bit of pressure right there. But he's starting to make guys miss still with his eyes down the field. And then he tucks it and runs. I'll tell you what, you cannot coach that. Michael's brother, Marcus, wore at Virginia Tech before his dismissed from the team two years ago. Here's Brandon Orr busting to the outside. And Orr inside the 11-yard line. Run out of play by Copper and Lock. Extra point for him. And it's 10 to nothing, Virginia Tech. So the cap gets something started here offensively. Correction, it was 2005 here in Charlottesville where Virginia Tech won that game 52-14. Uh, nothing there for Michael Simpson, tackled by Barry Booker in the backfield for a the Coastal Division title and a spot in the ACC championship game next week against Boston College is at stake. Sewell in trouble, gets away from two Hokies. But doesn't get away from Vince Hall. How about the speed of Hall yeah. catching up to the quarterback there? CS Bowl a few years ago before once that was hired. Yep, they haven't gone to a bowl since that uh, game against Utah in the Fiesta Bowl as Glennon finds Royal downfield. Royal to the 22-yard line as he got behind the defense. Boy, this is just a fabulous throw and catch here. They're going to go play action to hold the linebackers and Royal. Just a nice deep post. They show the play action in here from Glennon. And watch the eyes right there. Nice little play action. Holds the safety. And you see Eddie Royal right behind coverage and a well-thrown football from Sean Glennon. Just holds the linebackers and safeties just a touch to allow Eddie Royal and that 4-3 speed to get behind the entire secondary of Virginia. A seven yard attempt. Right down the middle. So after Virginia themselves going again here in the run game. Third down and four. Sewell finds Simpson again out of the backfield and again just too much speed for Virginia Tech as you see Harris close and then Martin there as well for the Hokies. Yeah, can't. At Virginia. Did a great job this year after being picked fourth in the Coastal Division in the preseason. Another good throw by Glennon. Maybe his best game yet here in 2007 as he throws it over the corner. Chris Cook into the hands of Eddie Royal. So they elect to throw on second and one and they lose 10 yards. Glennon has a wide open Josh Morgan as they pick up third down and 10. Well, Josh rallied the troops for the final game, but they are they've had a tough, tough second half. Sewell on second down and short. Great stick by Vince Hall on John Phillips, just right in the midsection. That's going to staff right now for Virginia. How's that? Second down and six. Play fake. And Sewell being chased. And down he goes as he is sacked by Orion Martin. Fourth sack of the year for Martin. Yards on the season. Sewell facing pressure. Vince Hall's got him. Sacked at the 46 yard line. Vince Hall there first. Barry Booker cleans him up. Yeah. Tremendous athlete. Sewell on first down again over the middle, and it is picked off. Intercepted by Brandon Flowers, his fifth of the season. Flowers plays that boundary corner about as well as anybody in the entire country. You mentioned the fact he was first team all ACC last year. Watch him drive on this football right there. That is covering at the highest level. He and Macho Harris have combined for 10 picks on the year at that's left in Virginia Tech with two timeouts remaining. Lennon is the quarterback. Here comes Long. It gets tackled and the pass is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Virginia Tech, Eddie Royal. And no penalty flag in the backfield where it looked like it could have been holding. Well, he caught one deep one already in this football.